Hey everybody, I'm Dean Bora. Today is Thursday, September 26th, and this is your Costa Mesa Minute. A two in one week last week with my fearlessly foolish football predictions improved my record to six and three on the season. Not great, but not too bad either. Once again this week, all three teams play Friday night. And we'll start with the only one of the three to play on home soil. Coach Mike Vargas' Eagles dropped to one and two following last week's loss to Irvine. This week, they get another team from the tough Pacific Coast League. University also enters the contest with a one and two mark, and their only victory is against a La Quinta squad that has been outscored 96 to zero. This game should be a close one and is a tough one to call. But I just think the Trojans outlast the Eagles 22-18. Over at Newport, Coach Jeff Brinkley's Sailors look to rebound after last week's disappointing loss to crosstown rival CDM. The Sailors enter this week's contest ranked 10th in the Southwest Division despite a record of 1-2. But keep in mind, their two losses are to teams with a combined record of 8-0. Coach Brinkley has never shied away from a tough non-league schedule, and Friday night they get another quality opponent in San Clemente. The Tritons enter on a two-game skid as their offense has sputtered after averaging 47 points per game in their first two contests. Newport needs to shore up their defense, which is giving up an average of 34 per game, and I think tomorrow that improves just enough. Sailors in another tight one, win this one 27 to 26. And that brings us to Mesa, where Coach Wally Grant's squad is on the road at Savannah Friday night. The Mustangs enter with a record of one and three, while the Rebels come in one and two. The Mustangs are coming off tough losses to quality opponents, having lost to third-ranked Catella by five and to seventh-ranked Los Amigos by six. Both losses were without their best player, Aronde Crenshaw, and two-way starter, Quentin Bell. My inside source tells me both players are 50-50 for tomorrow night. And I know, what good are inside sources if that is all they can give you, right? Well, I think Mesa goes into Glover Stadium and wins a close one, 20 to 19. It should be another great night of games tomorrow evening under the Friday night lights. Estancia is at home, Newport and Costa Mesa are on the road. I hope you can get out there and support your favorite team. And that's Costa Mesa today in a minute or more. Remember, if it happens in Costa Mesa, it's news to us. I'm Dane Bora, we'll see you tomorrow.